Hey friends and fellow crafters, DM Scotty here. We have done braziers, we have done fires, we have done torches, but I thought it'd be cool today to do magical lights, different colored magical lights, to get really cool effects and add a certain atmosphere and feel to your encounters. So let's hit the table and I'll show you how you can really easily make these magical lights for your encounters. So the basis for these lights are these wedding submersible lights and you can get these anywhere online. They come in all different kinds of colors and they're perfect for this application. So for the, t the top of the light I'm going to do like I did for the uh, torch video or the uh, brazier video where I use this piece of wood. You can get these at the craft store. And here's a fitting I'm going to use for the top of the piece also. So I'm just going to glue that on with some E6000 or goop. Now when you have the, the top of the magical light, you want to have something that the light will go through and give a really interesting effect. I found these cracked orbs at the craft store. You could use any kind of clear uh, gem or that kind of thing. So these are just, uh, just whatever you choose and whatever kind of effect or look you're going for. So now I just glue these pieces on. You can get some extra detail by gluing little extra bits on there. And here's another one where I did some different uh, wing uh, pieces on there. So uh, yeah, you can get a really interesting look. Now uh, let's hit the table and uh, we'll paint these up and get them ready for the magical lighting. Here I have my submersible light and I'm going to cover up the light itself uh, with this masking tape. So I'll just pop it on there, kind of squishy. You can see it's a red light actually. So I'm kind of activating it because you kind of twist these to activate them. So there we go. I'm just covered up the light there. Now I uh, spray painted it flat black, the whole thing, and uh, the light is covered. So now I'm going to use my gray and do the sponge technique. Just put it on there directly onto the light itself and uh, fill it all in. And the same with the top, the wooden top. Do that uh, sponge technique. Nice stone texture there. Now I'm going to use a highlight, so a lighter gray. Got the top here. Don't worry about getting it on the other pieces, that's all right. We'll fix that. Cool. And uh, also on the light itself, so I can do the edges. So very nice. Nice stone look there from just a clear light. And that'll just sit right on top there. So very cool. Now I want to paint the details and I'm going to use a platinum and uh, I wanted to use a metal that was kind of not the standard uh, you know gunmetal or silver. I wanted to make it look kind of more magical so I was using a different kind of metallic. There we go just paint those details and it's ready to go on the top of the light. Very cool, very cool. Now I'm going to pull the tape off and the light itself is all you know uncovered so perfect but I do have that little bit around the edge so I'm going to use some black and just cover that up a little bit of black uh, acrylic paint and there we go we're ready for our uh, table uh, magical table light so let's sit the table and see what those look like here we go let's look at our first light and uh, pretty cool with the red there really nice turn the light on so we can get a better look at it okay here we go so we just have this irregular clear gem here whoops just pop that off and here's a top another top I did uh, very similar to the braziers but here's the red light underneath and uh, just really cool you just flip it to turn it off and that's all there is to it just really these are really neat now here's another one I did more like a holy light type thing uh, pretty cool now let's take a closer look at it okay so we got a really cool top I, I like what I did with the top there the gem is just this cracked gem that really reflects, refracts light. Uh, and then I've got that top with all the cool details. And uh, just flip the light there. Cool. Now, I really like this one. This one's cool. I like the green light here and the snake and everything. So let's take a closer look at it. So the snake is just a ring with that cracked bead in it, right? So very cool. Very cool. 
And then the back, I just used the wooden piece with these uh, skewers on the back, kind of like fangs, snake fangs. I thought that was really neat. And the green light really gives a cool effect. So there we go. There's that one. And uh, the next one here is would be cool for like a ge uh, ice gem or something like that. Like gives a really cool feeling uh, to the place. And I got the irregular uh, jewel on there. Pretty cool. And uh, another different top there. I just really like the effect these give. It really gives a nice atmosphere to your games. And it's just that little extra oomph that just makes the encounter so cool. So I hope you like these uh, magical lights. Hey Crafter, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, give your DM Scotty a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, we got a great group on there, lots of uh, projects. Also, if you like the vid, why not drop a dollar in the chip jar? You can just click on the video and uh, tip uh, directly to DM Scotty. And if you want to participate further, you can join Patreon and get uh, the Crafter's Lair every month. It's a magazine I produce for my uh, Patreon friends. And I want to say uh, last but not least, Go forth and craft. Yeah. Have fun crafting, guys. Epic Level Roderick by Brad Smith. Hey, guys. I just received a package today from Brad Smith. And wow, he sent me a new Roderick. And let's check out this conversion. It's so cool. So here's original on the right. And you can see the regular Roderick there. And on the left, we have the new leveled up epic level Roderick. Wow, look at that sword, that axe. Just so cool. He's got one of his uh, awesome grass tufts on there. Uh, nice repaint. Wow, I am just blown away. This Roderick is so cool. Thank you so much, Brad Smith. This is so awesome. I appreciate it.